Stellar Lumens XLM approaches supply zone as longer term bias look. We'll be checking out this article from AMB Crypto as well as doing some price prediction and some technical analysis at the end of the video. You guys do not want to miss out. Welcome back. Money Bags Rico here bringing you financial awareness to a crypto space that is changing on the hour every hour. With that being said and out the way, make sure you guys smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and that bell notification is lit up. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We got in mid-March, along with most other altcoins, XLM also saw a rapid surge upwards. It rose from $0.18 cents to $0.24, cents, a near 30% move in just over two weeks. In April and in May, the sentiment shifted bearish once more, as it had been since January. Okay, so we got Seller Lumens fell beneath the $0.18 cents support. And we're going to be looking at this picture and doing some technical analysis of our own, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end. Fell beneath the $0.18 cents. 18 cent support and retested the same level as a resistance before plunging yet again in may it reached 10 cents lows and revisited these lows in june as well so just very recently okay the market structure has firmly bearish in the recent weeks the north to the north of 12 and a half cents and 15 and a half cents resistance levels from large or loom large my bad the 15 and a half is a local high and would need to be broken for the longer term structure to flip to the bullish side now let's go ahead and take a look at this picture that they got and of course we're going to do our own technical analysis which is important so we got these marks right here that we're talking about 12 and a half cents and 18 and a half cents i have it marked a little bit differently i'm gonna show you guys why in just a second of course none of this is financial advice do your own due diligence but nevertheless i have it a little bit different right now we can see that these areas are true you know that 12 and a half cents that 13 and a half cents but instead of that 18 and a half cents which is a little bit higher they want it marked up here i'm looking more at this 1669 area because if we look in the past we can see right here where this is an area where we tested before um as a support and we know on this channel of course you know you know doing our homework if this was a support once before and we broke beneath it, this is going to be a resistance at some point where we're going to be testing this in the future. So um, I don't see the 18 really being the area that we're going to be talking about, because once we can break past this and show that we're back above this, you know, um, support that was in our history. And now we can break past which we're going to be testing it somewhere along this line up here at the 16 and a half. So I think they were close where they said 18. I, but I believe once we can break past that 1669, that's where we have that breakout we have the zero right this is the new zero that we made down here let's go ahead and identify that this is that new zero threshold right here right we're marching along consolidating now and now we're starting to make higher lows let's go ahead and adjust the chart a little bit better zoom in so now we're, we're making higher lows right this is that new zero threshold we're marching into into the setup right and then next we'll have a breakout this one also is like that breakout area but if you notice it's going to be quick in this area because when we broke into this channel it was a flash down and anytime we were up into it it really didn't self-sustain right there so we'll most likely see a nice setup right here which having a breakout from this 13 and a half to then make another support looking something like this a nice higher low breaking up retesting it and then going back up which eventually will end up around that 18 cents mark that we talked about then going to this recent area of those 24 cents mark so i want you guys to leave some bullish comments about xlm i don't think this one's going nowhere um i went ahead and voted go good so go ahead and you guys vote how you guys see fit but we see the overall market is bullish and of course we're up already in volume 13 and a half percent the overall day is almost eight percent for xlm so we're looking at this one um xlm is looking pretty good continue to come back and experience the abundance of money with me until next time you guys know what it is later